This week, Arnold Schwarzenegger goes on a vegan coronavirus lockdown. IKEA launches the Beyond Burger. Americans are stockpiling oat milk during the coronavirus crisis. And Live Kindly merges with leading vegan meat producers. All this and more on Live Kindly's weekly vegan news. If you're new to our channel, you can subscribe by hitting the leaf icon in the bottom right corner of the video. Click the bell icon to turn on notifications, and please be sure to like and comment below. Following calls for seniors in California to isolate themselves during the coronavirus outbreak, 72-year-old Arnold Schwarzenegger is at home with his animals and eating vegan food. See, the important thing is that you stay at home because there's a curfew now. The actor, former politician, and bodybuilder posted a short clip on Instagram, encouraging people to stay home and avoid spreading the COVID-19 virus. The coronavirus pandemic has now killed more than 6,500 people worldwide. Experts believe the virus originated from China's wild animal trade at a market in Wuhan. Scientists believe that an infected person, animal, or group of animals first introduced the virus to the Hunan seafood wholesale market. The virus has spread rapidly around the world, with South Korea, Italy, and Iran among the most affected outside of China. Approximately 169,000 people are confirmed to be infected, and a number of countries and states have implemented social distancing measures to try and reduce the spread. In California, Governor Gavin Newsom has asked seniors and people with chronic health conditions to stay inside. Schwarzenegger references the importance of listening to the advice in his video. After you're 65, you're not allowed at the house anymore in California, so we stay home and we eat here, right? Oh yes, yeah, that's yummy. I eat with the whiskey and there's Lulu. Lulu loves carrots, whiskey loves carrots. I just had my little bit of vegan food. Oh, that was yummy, huh? Concerns over the coronavirus have Americans stockpiling oat milk along with household and medical essentials for their pandemic pantries. U.S. consumers are rushing to buy medical, health-related, and shelf-stable products, including oat milk. As concerns grow surrounding COVID-19, stockpiling is on the rise. I can't believe what people are doing inside. Shelves are empty. According to Nielsen data, first aid kits, medical and household masks, hand sanitizer, and disposable diapers are all common purchases. During a four-week period ending February 22nd, significant spikes in the hoarding of emergency supplies occurred in the U.S., China, and Italy. The market research firm also revealed that U.S. oat milk sales increased by nearly 306% in response to the coronavirus. This is greater than the increased demand for hand sanitizer and just short of medical masks at 319 percent. Back in 2018, a note milk shortage prompted some people to sell Oatly's Barista Edition for up to $200. Some of the in-demand hygiene products are now selling online for inflated prices. The market research firm is also monitoring the impact of the virus on e-commerce. It noted that online shopping could increase in the coming weeks in response to self-isolation and quarantine procedures. We expect the rush to stock up to have an almost immediate impact on supply chains for manufacturers of the most sought-after goods, said Nielsen. Shenzhen may be the first city in China to ban the consumption of dog and cat meat. According to the Humane Society International, while a new proposal will see forms of wild meat banned due to the coronavirus outbreak, dog and cat meat has been included specifically in acknowledgement of their status as companion animals. The draft regulation follows an order from China's National People's Congress to ban all consumption of wild animal meat. It entered the public comment phase at the end of last month. Per The Guardian, no timeline has been given for the final determination. It would be extremely welcome for dog and cat meat consumption to be banned in Shenzhen, particularly because the proposal specifically recognizes dogs and cats as companions, who must be protected from this brutal and largely illegal trade, said Peter Li, HSI's China policy expert, in a statement. He added, It's a sentiment that could have huge ramifications for the millions of dogs and cats who are stolen across China for human consumption. Coming up, Lewis Hamilton feeds baby kangaroos displaced by bushfires. IKEA shoppers can now buy the vegan Bleeding Beyond Burger at select stores in the Netherlands. A new, even meatier version of the plant-based patty is now available in IKEA Amsterdam and Amersfoort. 
According to Bram Meiser, Beyond Meat's regional marketing director, EMEA, the new burger is in line with the brand's Eat What You Love mission. We are excited to introduce IKEA customers in Amsterdam and Amersfoort to the delicious taste and texture from the new Beyond Burger, he said in a statement. Our goal is to make vegetable proteins more accessible. We are proud that we can achieve this goal in collaboration with IKEA. He noted that the chain strives for a more sustainable life. Multinational furniture company IKEA is constantly updating its store menu with new, sustainable food options. It recently announced the upcoming launch of its new vegan meatballs in Europe. The meatball that, quote, looks and tastes like meat but is made from plant-based alternative proteins. According to the company, the plant balls are also made with pea protein to make them even meatier than their predecessor veggie balls. The latter features a blend of chickpeas, green peas, and carrots. We look empathetically at vegetable variants of existing dishes with meat, and we increasingly introduce new, tasty, and healthy vegetarian options, said Marcel Rutgers, food manager at IKEA. He added, IKEA shows that a healthier and more sustainable life does not have to be complicated. He continued, the cooperation with Beyond Meat fits in well with this. Phil's Coffee has removed 2% dairy milk from its menu amid the growing demand for oat milk. The coffee chain has adapted the menu in all of its 57 locations in California, Maryland, Virginia, Illinois, and Washington, D.C. The switch came as the chain saw a decreased demand for the 2% dairy option. Phil's Coffee said the 2% milk was no longer a popular choice among its customers. In contrast, dairy-free oat milk is high in demand. Phil's Coffee first tested oat milk at select locations as a result of increased requests for the beverage. Following much success, the chain decided to roll it out company-wide. Phil's Coffee isn't the only chain to add oat milk to its menu. In January, Starbucks announced it added the non-dairy beverage to select locations in the Midwest. The coffee chain plans to expand it to more cafes at a later date. The world's biggest coffee chain intends to continue increasing its plant-based options to improve its environmental impact, but also to cater to demand. The consumer demand curve is already shifting, Starbucks CEO Kevin Johnson told Bloomberg earlier this year. I think it's because it has the consistency and the kind of body of real milk. And she's selling out of oat milk nearly every day. Dunkin' Donuts also recently revealed the launch of its new oat milk latte. The company already offers almond milk as a dairy-free option. The announcement comes just days after Starbucks added similar dairy-free drinks to its menu. I've never had it. I'll try it. I'll try it, yeah. The coffee and donut chain currently only offers the drink at locations in California, but it will become available nationwide this spring. In addition to the latte, customers will be able to add oat milk to any of Dunkin's hot or iced coffees. Earlier this year, pret a manger announced it would begin offering oat milk alongside rice, coconut, and soy. In an Instagram post, the chain also revealed it would no longer charge a surcharge for plant-based milk. Lewis Hamilton shared a video of his trip to New South Wales Wildlife Information, Rescue and Education Services, Inc., also known as WIRES, in Australia this week. We landed this morning in Sydney from a, the long flight from London and straight from the airport. Uh, we came out to the bush because I wanted to visit a couple of places, uh, uh, one of the organizations particularly, uh, WIRES, which is, a, which is where I donated my money to, uh, who um, are in charge of uh, response and looking after the animals that were struggling through the bushfires. I had the incredible opportunity to visit New South Wales, Australia to see the admirable work Wires Wildlife Rescue is doing to care, rehabilitate, and preserve the country's native wildlife following the recent devastating fires. The six-time Formula One world champion wrote on Instagram. Founded in 1985, Wires is the largest wildlife rescue and rehabilitation nonprofit in Australia. Its rescue team is led by volunteers. It was one of those days that really put things into perspective, Hamilton continued. He donated $500,000 to the charity last January, according to Reuters. Hamilton wanted to meet with the people responsible for taking care of animals displaced by the Australian bushfires. He wanted to see the devastation of the fires with his own eyes. Over one billion animals were impacted by the fires, and it's going to take years for Australia to recover. So it's thanks to nonprofits like Wires, 
an organization I supported during the fires, that we have the resources to help preserve this beautiful country and its amazing wildlife. Hamilton is vocal about his compassion for animals. The champion race car driver adopted a plant-based diet for his health in late 2017, but soon he began to talk about veganism, speaking to his millions of Instagram followers about the ethical issues with leather, hunting, animal agriculture, and the climate crisis. Beyond Meat is launching frozen vegan breakfast sausages in select U.S. retailers. With 11 grams of protein per serving, the Beyond Breakfast Sausage offers the same texture and taste of traditional pork sausages. It has 50% less fat, 35% less saturated fat and sodium, and 33% fewer calories than its meat counterpart. The new sausages, free from GMOs, gluten, soy, and artificially produced ingredients, are available in two flavors classic and spicy. According to the brand, they can go from frozen to finished in under five minutes. Coast to coast retailers offering the new vegan patties include Acme, ShopRite, Whole Foods, Wegmans, Albertsons, and Vons. Chuck Muth, Beyond Meat's chief growth officer, said in a statement, introducing Beyond Breakfast Sausage at retail stores is an exciting next step for our brand as we continue to invest in expanding opportunities for shoppers to enjoy our products at home. We're very pleased with our retail momentum to date, and entering the breakfast meat category was a natural next step for our brand, as we look at our runway for future growth," he added. Coming up, Live Kindly merges with leading vegan meat producers. Florida could soon ban shark finning. The state Senate has passed SB 680, a ban on the import, export, and sale of shark fins in Florida. We are in a critical time for ocean conservation. This, as sharks face continued threats from around the world. One part of that threat is the shark fin trade. According to Shark Allies, a nonprofit protection and conservation organization, 70 million sharks are killed for their fins each year. Florida is the largest hub for the shark fin trade in the United States. This week, in an uncommon display of bipartisan unity, the Senate passed legislation which would remove Florida from the global shark fin trade, SB 680, the organization wrote on its website. It continued, adding that in a compromise with opponents, the bill includes a sunset provision allowing businesses that harvest fins a five-year transition period. The bill now moves to the House of Representatives under the name HB 401. Some lawmakers are working to effectively shut down the bill. Shark Allies adds, specifically, the House intends to remove the sunset clause and exempt all local participants in the fin trade, essentially keeping Florida in the shark fin business. Shark Allies is urging Floridians and others to call on Governor Ron DeSantis to intercede with the House Speaker, as the bill was overwhelmingly approved by the Senate. And finally, last Wednesday, our own Live Kindly, the fastest growing plant-based media publisher, announced its acquisition by the Live Kindly Company, formerly Foods United. Live Kindly was founded in 2017 by Jody Monell and generates more than 100 million monthly cross-platform impressions. I was inspired to create Live Kindly Media because of the lack of positive and uh, inclusive content out there involving the plant-based movement. Uh, there's a lot of neg negativity in the um, in correlation to the word vegan, and I really wanted to turn that on its head and make it inclusive for everyone. That you know, whether you're vegan or vegetarian, plant-based, an environmentalist, meat eater, whatever you are, you, you can be part of this movement and make a difference. The newly formed Live Kindly Company, founded by Roger Leanhard, an early investor in Beyond Meat and Impossible Foods, is now the leading collective of heritage and startup brands committed to changing the future of food through the creation of delicious plant-based products without the need for animals or the depletion of natural resources. The Live Kindly Company for me is a mission to put better food in front of people on a daily basis, as much and as fast as possible. I'm super excited uh, to be part of this because uh, we all know is that we need to really shift uh, the current food system into a sustainable food system and really be part of this incredible movement to make sure is that really we get uh, at scale, at speed, the world to change into a plant-based diet.
the Lift Kindly Media Division will continue to operate independently and drive conversation around the global shift towards a plant-based diet and compassionate living, featuring industry-relevant news and brands. Well, I think Live Kindly has a really unique uh, take on the media. Um, we, we in particular like to highlight uh, the positive stories and, and the human stories. Um, our mission is really about humanity, our home, and those who share it with us, and so our content reflects that. To live kindly means to live in a way that demonstrates an appreciation for our humanity, our home, and those who share it with us," said Jody Monell, founder and CEO of Live Kindly. The Live Kindly company adopting our name is a reflection of the tireless Live Kindly team's hard work over the past three years. Being part of the group will give us a chance to not only reach more people, but also have a greater impact on the existing food system. The Live Kindly team has built an incredible news platform in less than three years. It's an exceptional feat, said Roger Leinhardt. To scale with speed and integrity requires a collective of mission-aligned people, and I'm thrilled to have this all-star team join us for the journey. That's it for today. Are you excited about the news of Live Kindly's acquisition? Let us know in the comments below. As always, remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell. New videos every Tuesday and Friday.